Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to do the project Speech Emotion Recognition Analysis. So this is a deep learning project and we are going to recognize the emotion uh, based on the speech that is the audio file that is our input and the output will be uh, different kinds of uh, emotions. So based on the voice modulation and the pitch and other um, audio attributes, we are going to classify which emotion uh, it contains. So that is our objective of this problem. So currently I am in Kaggle and we are going to use this uh, data set Toronto emotional uh, speech set that is uh, called as test. And apart from this, uh, we have another uh, three more data sets for uh, speech emotion uh, recognition. You can combine all those data sets and uh, have a single one and uh, do the process or else you can do it with uh, any data set you want. So currently I am going to go with this and for other data set you can uh, explore it uh, in Kaggle. They have all the data sets available. So here as I already uh, mentioned uh, this is the data set uh, context and uh, these are some uh, explanation and uh, here you can see there are like 2800 uh, samples that is the data points and uh, this is the data set. So in this folder, we have uh, different uh, emotions that is mentioned as the label and uh, each folder contains 200 files. So each class file contains 400 files because uh, fear and uh, fear is repeated. Like this, we'll be having uh, all the files and we can use this data for training the model. Now, so as you can able to see, this is the data. Let's dive into one folder and the format is .wav file. So that is the format we have used for another project. So if you want to know uh, the project flow means so uh, you can also refer urban sound analysis. If you didn't uh, see that video means you can click on the right top corner of this video to see that the process will be similar, but I'm going to uh, go with some uh, different model and the loading approach is also will be different. So better to watch all the things. Now, we have explored uh, what is inside the data set. So if you want to work on this data set means you can just create the new notebook and uh, go to the particular notebook and uh, do all the steps. So it is almost similar to Jupyter notebook. Now let's go to the notebook. So this is the notebook uh, we have. Let's run this one. Now the session is starting. So this is a deep learning project. We are going to create a neural network. You can uh, enable this accelerator to GPU if you want to use GPU and uh, train your model faster. But currently I'm just using CPU for all the process. Maybe in the end while uh, actually training the model, we will uh, change this to GPU and we will run everything. And I guess this is like displaying all the things of the path. So these are the path we are having. So this is the actual path we need. So using this format itself, uh, you can easily load the data set. Currently we are having the whole input path of the data and we just need to extract this uh, fear that is the output column. So we can do this. So I'll just comment this part and uh, we will uh, see it later. Let's run this again. So now before that we will import the modules. That is our first step. Import modules. Now I am going to import all the basic modules and apart from this I am going to import uh, some libraries related to processing the audio files. Now import pandas as pd. I'll just uh, increase the size so you can see it clearly. I guess this is good. Let's leave some code. And now pandas is completed. Import numpy as np. Import os. To deal with the uh, files, we have to use this module os. And, uh, and for visualization, import seaborn as sns import matplotlib.pyplot as plot so these are 
so these are for uh, visualization and apart from that we have to import some audio library files so that will be import librosa and import librosa dot display so these things are done and if you want to play the audio means uh, we have to import the audio so that will be from ipython ipython dot display import audio and uh, I think these are the basic modules we can import warnings also import warnings now warnings dot set sorry filter warnings equals ignore this will ignore all the warnings so these are the main modules we are going to import and over the period we will import some important modules for uh, creating the model and uh, training and all so let's run this and after this we will be loading the data set so the modules have been imported without any errors load the data set so currently the data set inside this folder and uh, we have to see the path so the path all the paths are uh, displayed uh, with this syntax i am going to use this itself so these are the syntax and come on this so i am going to create two list so one will be paths that is an empty list and other one will be labels labels again an empty list so using this we are going to create a data frame after uh, adding everything inside the list so this will display all the files so instead of printing this one maybe instead of printing the whole thing i'll be just cut this i'll be adding this to paths dot append now this will append the path to the paths uh, list and uh, so this is the file path uh, using this only we are going to load the audio and after this okay for one file we will just see what is happening so file name to check whether uh, what file name is there so we have to do the processing later okay just displayed so many uh, files so using this uh, we have to like split the file name in order to get this label alone so what i am going to do is label equals file name dot split i am going to split based on this underscore so uh, i just uh, split it based on the underscore and i am going to get the last part so this is the last part fear dot w a v i'll also print that so it's still running uh, i'll just uh, go to the next step so in the label we will be having this freer dot uh, wav so that's the format let's run this okay label is not defined okay now we are getting this fear dot wav now we are going to get this uh, fear alone again we are going to do the split so label equals label dot split so i'm going to split based on the dot so and i'm going to get the first one so this is the label now print label now we have got the fear still uh, if you see the data means uh, there will be two fears uh, that that contain some uh, capital letter of f so we have to change that so that will be label dot lower let's run this again now everything will be converted to lower case now let's remove these things
now instead of printing it we will just add it to the labels labels dot append label dot lower and maybe after finishing we will just print it print data set is loaded okay let's run this okay it's quickly loaded the data set let's see what is there in the path and the labels so path of the first five items so these are the complete path and labels of the first five items so these are the labels so that is done let's uh, load it inside a data frame so we are going to create a data frame create a data frame now df equals pd dot data frame so this is the data frame i'm going to create the columns now df of what should i call the input i can say speech so that will be good equals paths and df dot labels sorry so this will be label label equals labels that's done now df dot head let's run this now you can see uh, we are having the file path as the input and the label as the output and uh, we can also check whether how many uh, labels we are having so that will be df of label dot value counts so we are having uh, six different uh, classes of labels and each are having 800 samples so we have successfully loaded the data set and converted in, in a proper data frame so if you are using other data set means uh, do the same process just uh, you have to do a little changes here that's the only thing apart from that the process will be same so after doing this we can go for the exploratory data analysis so exploratory data analysis okay again we will leave some code now let's uh, display the label so that's a simple one so sns dot count plot df of label well we already know the result let's run this see all the classes are in equal distribution so if there is some unequal distribution means you have to do some uh, class balancing so that process is not uh, needed here so now this is done In the next one we have to uh, display the waveform of the audio file uh, we will display the audio file uh, we can also hear that audio file and we will display a spectrogram and we will display the wave plot so for that we have to create a few functions for displaying the wave plot and the spectrogram so for that dev wave plot so we'll be passing the data sample rate and the emotion now plot dot figure fig size fig size equals 10 comma 4 and uh, we don't need a title so we will just directly uh, go for that or we can give the title for as emotion so that will be a uh, reasonable now plot dot title that will be the emotion and we can also set the size as um, what size we can set 20 maybe and after that we have to display it so librosa dot display dot 
wave plot. So we have to pass the data. So data comma sample rate equals the sample rate. Finally plot dot show. So this is one function for displaying the wave plot. And let's create the another one for displaying the spectrogram. So def spectrogram of again data sample rate and emotion. So here also we will do a same kind of processing but we will uh, add few lines. So I'll just copy these things. Figure size I can increase it or we will see emotion will be displayed and instead of wave plot we will use spec show and uh, data also we have to pass so that I will leave it now we have to process the data for the spectrogram I will say x equals librosa dot stft of the data and uh, again x db just converting that file into a uh, decibels. So librosa dot amplitude to db and I'll pass the x. Okay, this will be absolute of x. And uh, here I will pass this x db comma sample rate equals sample rate. So x-axis, here x-axis will be the time equals time and y-axis will be the hits h z and again plot dot color bar color bar run this okay now we are going to display this for the six different emotions so we will also create a small snippet for this so we can able to reuse it for all the six classes so first one will be emotion so i saw it as fear now we have to get the path so path equals df of speech of we have to filter it based on the condition so df of label sorry label will be in quotation label equals emotion so this will filter out all the parts and i will get the first one let's also check this whether it is working or not okay now it's getting the whole path and it's working properly now using this path I am going to call the function so before that we have to load the data and sampling rate sampling rate equals librosa dot load I'm going to load that audio file pass the path and after this we will call the functions wave plot data comma sampling rate and similarly spectrogram of data comma sampling rate and also we have to pass the emotion emotion and emotion let's run this okay it is working fine mm, the figure size is like quite different just how to adjust this length but I have set it both of them as the same thing um, this can be 11 and also I will have the audio audio of the path so we can hear the audio run this 
okay why it's displaying in between it should be displaying after this okay uh, anyway we can uh, proceed say the word home see uh, you can able to hear the voice so this is the fear say the word home some uh, pitch uh, and uh, the frequency difference you can uh, observe in this one second file file size is small so that is comparatively less what we have done in the urban sound analysis so this is for fear similarly i have to duplicate the same cell maybe i'll just copy the cell copy and uh, paste this paste cell okay i have done it for five times okay this is the first one fear second one will be angry angry okay there is some key error i think i'll just convert this as array i think it's using the data frame index itself so zero run this okay now it's working so similarly i have to do the same thing so run this once we already uh, ran this for angry say the word raid so this is the angry let's also change one file i cannot uh, hear the audio that much clearly say the word half okay they are just uh, changing some modulation that i can able to observe here so apart from that i'll just uh, replace this quickly you have to do it four times okay angry is done next one is discussed discussed now this is the frequency and this is the spectrogram here in the spectrogram you can see some uh, difference like whether whenever we have like high pitch means uh, uh, we are seeing some colors uh, during the pictures and here also you can see so for discussed say the word good okay you can clearly uh, see the modulation for uh, discussed here and uh, sad what is meant by ps currently we are having like a uh, seven classes with the uh, equal files i think this is pleasant surprise okay now neutral sad neutral say the word soup it is full but uh, i cannot uh, hear the hear the voice sound that much clearly so this is for neutral and this will be sad say the word germ yeah this is clearly sad and uh, the spectrogram is also like uh, differing see uh, here this is like a dark blue color and here it is like completely changing for neutral and sad and what else ps pleasant surprise say the word met okay last one will be happy say the word jail see happy as a high pitch and also we are uh, clearly seeing a difference for uh, these things i think for uh, this neutral sad and uh, pleasant surprise having a low frequency for some of the files and you can change the index or you can also use some random index if you want from the uh, total length of the array so that is also possible and uh, these are some of the wave plots uh, you can clearly see based on the wave plots we will be getting some uh, array values 
uh, that will we will see in the feature extraction and that's it guys that's for the exploratory data analysis we have done so we have uh, displayed in like two plots and uh, one audio file so that is done we can also clearly see some uh, difference uh, during the audio files now this will be so feature extraction now last time uh, we have used uh, extracting a uh, mfcc feature and you can also use this uh, spectrogram and other uh, feature extraction uh, techniques for the uh, audio files so you can concatenate all those uh, features and uh, use it for the classification i'm just gonna do that uh, mfcc if you want to explore further means uh, you can concatenate all those features so let's define a function called uh, extract mfcc i will pass the file name so file name so here i am going to load the data set so y comma sr equals librosa dot load file name file name and we will set some duration for this to get a uniform uh, uh, duration because uh, each file having a different uh, length here one second here it is two second so by default i'm going to go for uh, three seconds duration equals three and offset equals 0 0.5 so after loading the data and sampling rate we will uh, extract the feature so i'll say mfcc equals np dot mean of librosa sorry i think librosa dot feature dot mfcc of y equals y sampling rate equals sampling rate and uh, n mfcc equals 40 that is this is the uh, like a number of features and after that uh, we are getting the mean and after that we have to do the transpose comma axis equals zero and we will return this mfcc so this is the feature extraction similarly you can like stack these features on top of that um, so you can uh, horizontally uh, stack features and uh, use it as the input so this is how you can extract the features run this so using this function we will try to do it so first for uh, one file i will try to do it extract mfcc df of speech of zero so these are the array values we are getting so this is the values we are going to use it for the input and uh, you can see there are like 40 values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 4 cross 10 is 40 we are having 40 values so that's done now we can iterate through each file and uh, call this uh, function so i will call this as x mfcc equals df of speech dot apply apply lambda x colon extract mfcc and we will pass this x so here x is the complete path of the file and this will return let's run this and also let's see what is the result we are getting this will take some time uh, for extracting all the features and after this we can just directly go for uh, model creation and we can also use the validation split there so the process is like taking uh, so much time as we have like so many uh, samples 
I will just uh, stop it and enable this GPU because uh, we are close to uh, the model uh, training and creation. So just uh, click on this uh, GPU in the accelerator and we have like uh, some limitation in Kaggle like we can use uh, until like 39 hours uh, for this week. Still turn on. So it will just uh, reset uh, your session until it was uh, running. I'll just uh, rerun everything once again and uh, we will get back to the part where we left off. So now again it's uh, loading everything. So here you can see the CPU utilization is like so much higher because it's like so much uh, compu computation uh, intensive uh, for this uh, feature extraction. So we just have to wait for uh, some time. So maybe in the meantime, after uh, getting the result, we have to do some uh, coding after that. So after getting this, I'm going to use a uh, LSTM model. So we have to process the data similar to that. So to do that, I will have it as like, so these are the input split. Input split. So I will call it as x equals np dot expand dimension expand times and here we will just pass the feature x mf cc comma minus one. So we have to get this into this shape and uh, we can also see the shape how it is. So it should be like a three dimensional uh, one. So the first dimension will be the length of the data set uh, that is like uh, 2400 and the second one will be the this column length that is 40 and third dimension will be like one. So that is the structure we are uh, trying to get. So after this we have to load the output column. So I'm just uh, going to convert uh, those things into a categorical column. So for this, we have to uh, import a Keras module. So from Keras dot utils import to underscore categorical categorical so I'm just uh, converting the output uh, labels into a categorical uh, columns. So I will call this as y equals two categorical. So two categorical of df of label. And we can also see the shape. So these are the input splits. And after this, we are going to create the model. Create the model that is LSTM model. LSTM model. So it's still running. I don't know why it's like taking so much longer. Let's uh, wait for some time before uh, creating the model. So we have to get this uh, output after that only we can proceed further. So it will be much easier. So the extraction has been completed, but uh, the format is like not quite as I expected. So it is uh, in the data frame, uh, like uh, inside a data frame, each row is kind of a list. So I have to convert this list into a two dimensional NumPy array. So to do that, I will create a new variable called x equals an empty list x for x in df, sorry, x underscore mfcc. And after that x equals np dot array of x and x dot shape run this now i have converted the 
normal data frame into a two dimensional array. So this is the number of samples that is 5600 and this is the number of features that is 40 and after this we have to expand the dimension in order to convert uh, this into uh, an input shape that is accepted by the LSTM model. So for that I will say x equals now x dot shape is 5600, 40 and 1. So this is the format is accepted by uh, the LSTM uh, model. So that is done and after that we will convert the labels into categorical. Okay, we are facing some error. Cannot import name to categorical. So currently this categorical is not working properly. So instead of this, I'm going to go for uh, one hot encoding. You can also use label encoding. So I just want to do it in a different way. That's why. So for one hot encoding, we can import from sklearn dot preprocessing. Preprocessing import one hot encoder. Now initialize it encoder equals one hot encoder. And after that, I will have our uh, y equals encoder dot fit transform fit transform of df of label. Before that, let's see how it's uh, displaying. Okay, it's again showing some error. Expected 2D array got 1D array instead. So df of label, let's run this. Okay, now it is working. So 5600 cross seven. Currently it's not showing the sparse matrix here, but uh, we got our uh, one hot encoder. So I will say y equals encode fit transform df of label so this will be like a 2d run this let's see what is there in y so y of 0 so it's a sparse matrix so I'll try to run this okay here you can see uh, this is the one hot encoder uh, we are uh, getting so if it is one means that corresponding uh, output label is enabled here you can uh, see it clearly and uh, you can also see the shape that will be y dot shape see seven uh, columns and 5600 rows so this is the number of samples and this is the number of uh, categories we have so we have uh, splitted our input and output we don't have to go for the train and test split I'm going to do the validation split in the model itself. Now we will create the LSTM model. So for that we have to import few things. So first from Keras dot models import sequential. Now from Keras dot layers import dense LSTM LSTM uh, dropout dropout mm, I think that is enough now let's create the model model equals sequential of a list now we will add the layers First, uh, we will have the LSTM layer. So LSTM, LSTM of 128, comma written sequences. Okay, before that we have to run it once. Okay, now written sequences equals false and we have to provide the input shape 
इनपुट शेप पुट डोर शेप इक्वल्स दैट विल बी फोर्टी फीचर्स एंड वन सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स सो दीज आर द फीचर्स फोर्टी कम आ वन सो दिस इज डन सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट लेयर एंड सेकेंड वी कैन हैव अ डेंस डेंस लेयर with 64 i'm going to go for like a smaller uh, network activation relu and after that we can have a dropout dropout will be 0.2 so after this we will have another dense layer having 32 activation equals Again, relu. Have the dropout, and again we will follow the same. I guess this will be the output. So we just need this tens layer alone. We are having seven outputs, right? So I will say seven. Final activation will be soft max, as this is a categorical one. If you are having binary classification, means you can go for uh, sigmoid. So that is our small model we are having. So that's done. Let's compile it. Model dot compile. Loss equals categorical. Let's go entropy. Okay, categorical cross entropy. Okay, I think that's correct. and optimizer optimizer equals adam and we need the matrix so i'll go for accuracy accuracy so that's done okay we didn't have the commas again run this Okay, so many warnings. We can also see model dot summary. And this, okay. Now there are no errors are showing, and this is the model. These are the trainable parameters, and we have a bigger GPU here. We can also set the batch size uh, to bigger one. So train the model. So for this, I am going to uh, say history. If you want to track the plots, means uh, you can uh, use this variable. So model dot fit. First one will be uh, the x and y. So this is the input and the output. Validation split. Validation split. So it will automatically do the splitting for us. so that will be 20% epochs number of epochs can be 100 batch size as this is online i can set a bigger batch size i'll say 512 and we can also shuffle the data set as there is no dependency between the samples so shuffle equals true i guess that is enough let's run this okay validation split is only supported for uh, tensors or numpy arrays found sparse matrix okay i guess we have to use this two array or what you can do is y equals two array so this will be easier now again run this okay now the box are starting okay it is much quicker and we are getting see the accuracy has been like shot up to uh, 93 97 and validation accuracy is also around uh, 97 and this will be a bigger one as 
okay 100 epochs are like completed in an instant and we are having training accuracy around 99 percent in 9.89 and the validation accuracy is also like 99.91 so that is like a better model uh, you can get for uh, six different seven different uh, classes so this is like awesome for us and the model is also like uh, so much smaller as i you see uh, i didn't like add so many things here so i guess uh, this is good to go and you can see the final accuracy as uh, 99.89 and 99.91 so these are the best ones so for the last thing we can plot the results so after this we can conclude our video plot the results now accuracy equals history dot history of accuracy and similarly we have to use it for uh, validation accuracy i will call this as val accuracy and this one also val accuracy now let's do the plotting plot dot plot epochs that we have set it as 100 so maybe i'll just uh, have the epochs here epochs equals 100 so pass this this is the x-axis and y-axis will be accuracy and uh, label label equals train accuracy okay similarly we have to do the same for validation accuracy so val accuracy val accuracy and uh, you can also plot the x label and y label with the title so i'm going to go for the x label that will be epochs y label that will be accuracy and uh, let's plot it plot dot show and we also need the legend so plot dot legend okay that is done similarly okay we can show this in a separate cell also so this is for what have shapes one comma hundred okay i have to create list range of hundred and this okay as you can see uh, the training and validation accuracy like shot up after uh, a uh, few epochs like 5 to 10 epochs itself it shot up higher and it's almost uh, close to like 100% uh, similarly we can see the loss so loss just uh, replace everything loss so this will be loss and this will be val loss okay that's done let's run this okay here loss is also like decreasing uh, rapidly in the first uh, 10 or 15 epochs and after that it's like stable sometimes it's like uh, shorting up like the loss is varying but uh, over the period uh, it is stabilizing so i think uh, this is the best model we can have that's almost like 100 percent accuracy and that's it guys you can also uh, try to change some of the model parameters and uh, try to explore it if you want and uh, you can see validation accuracy sometimes a shot up to 100 also so that is uh, reasonable as you have like uh, when you are exploring the audio files you can uh, see a clear uh, difference in the tone so i think based on that itself uh, it is classifying uh, so much better 
and uh, try to do some uh, uh, try to add some more data uh, if you have like uh, add some other uh, speech recognition data set and uh, try to see what is the accuracy you are getting and uh, that's it guys we have done all the necessary uh, steps for this uh, speech emotion recognition so usually we will try to get the emotion uh, based on text but here uh, we got the emotion based on the tone of the person and uh, we have done all the exploratory data analysis and uh, we have got around 100% uh, accuracy so that is uh, so much better and that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to share the video if to your friends if this is helpful stay tuned for the next video